Welcome to Northumberland and Hadrian's Wall. Castles and battle sites, ghosts and legends, coast and countryside. Sponsored by Eat and Sleep at Lindisfarne, Northumberland's premier bunkhouse and cafe, and held rider equipment. So come on, let's go on an adventure. So there we have Riverdale and Borig. Two choices for you as we continue stage two of our Hadrian's Wall and Northumberland National Park adventure. And are you in for a treat? Some of the sights we're going to see are going to make your toes curl. This area here is known of one of only two in the country, I believe, an area of dark sky, designated as an area of dark sky. Because the light pollution is zero and on a clear night well you'll have to come to find out but that's where we're heading up there look at through some fabulous Northumberland countryside this whole adventure for Northumberland and Herrian's wall area it's not an adventure if you're looking to go for hundreds of miles as fast as you can leaning over and zooming around that's not what this area is all about by any stretch of the imagination it's to come up it's to soak in the atmosphere it's to see the superb scenery to ride the roads where there's not much traffic at all and to discover and explore the history and heritage of the area And here we are now at Kielder. Kielder Water and Forest Park. We're now within their boundaries. And as we rise up, you're just about to get the first view to take your breath away. And make your toes go. Are you ready? There we have Kielder Water. Massive expanse of water and forest park. largest man-made stretch of water in Europe and has been for many years but something you may not know is a tunnel scheme was done in 1975, 6, 4, 5, 6 I can't remember the exact year certainly amongst then that brought tunnels from Kielde into Weardale uh, Stanope I believe and all the way down to a place called Eggleston in Teesdale. And it was to drain the water from Kielder down into the Teesdale Valley to supply more water for the industry on Teesside. And would you believe I was involved in it? I used to drive an electric train in and out, bringing all the muck that the boring machine chucked out. I took it outside and dumped it, and I worked on there for around about a year the money was amazing but the worst part about it you know 
it was never used. All that money to tunnel underground? A whacking great bore. I guess it must have been about 12 feet, 18 feet across. All the workers, the Italian man who used to drive the boring machine, and all the industry that brought in the brought in all the stuff. But this was part of Kieldewater. Now a superb visitor attraction and a beautiful drive. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to drive through Kielde Forest now. But doesn't that just look fabulous with the blue sky and fluffy clouds, eh? And this most certainly is part of the designated area called Dark Sky. And just round this corner, we're going to pull in to give you a, another view of Kielder Water. And there we have it, another perspective. It's huge. Wonder how many litres of water there are in that, eh? A beautiful part of the world. So that is your keel the water. A rather magnificent stretch of water, to say the least. But now, we're going to cross the Scottish borders. As we continue to ride through Kielder Forest Park. And there is the Kielder Sky Space Observatory. You can come up here on a night and go to the observatory for the dark sky experience. Now you can turn right there and it'll take you into the village and the forest drive onto the 68. But I've heard that the road is really bad. So it's best to continue on through Kielder and go into the Scottish borders because you're going to see more than you would.
imagine living around this area. Eh? The size of the spiders from the forest coming into your home during the autumn. You know the big house spiders, the size of your hand. Must be size of dinner plates around here. Mile after mile of rolling hills and fields with forests scattered amongst them purple sprouting flowers and heather you have some of the trees just starting to turn towards the autumn as we head into September where the land will yet again change into a beautiful area of many colours Northumberland is the area really for all seasons really is As we come to the end of the forest drive, or for us the forest ride, I'm feeling horizontal, totally de-stressed. Love it. But at the end here, you turn right, as it says heading towards Jedba. And just at the end here, where it will say to turn left to go to Jedba, we don't. We are turning right to Corbridge and Newcastle. Because we've done the loop. That part that I mentioned before where you can go through the forest drive, that cuts out all this part here, the loop. It takes you straight across to the A68 which is the road that we're going to be heading towards now to join but you won't see what I'm just about to show you and there we start to see it there look all the Scottish borders let me just pull over and give you a better view the Scottish borders, Jedburgh is in that area over there, right the way across as far as the, that is mile after mile after mile of rolling hill countryside. I have a funny feeling if you could see far enough, probably in that direction up there, we'd see the outskirts of Edinburgh. Isn't it just beautiful? The Scottish borders. So even though we're doing Northumberland and Hadrian's Wall, we've slapped a little bit of the Scottish borders in fire as well. <laughs> I don't know. Entertaining you beyond belief. And even though we've done all of this, we're still only 48 miles from Newcastle. And here we have Carter Bar. Where a lot of the guys on bikes stop. And we now come back into England. And back into the Northumberland National Park. England's border county of Northumberland and 
and this is miles from Hadrian's Wall, 20 odd mile. Because this area was packed, <laughs> for want of a better word, packed with barbarians that were going to come down and ruin the Roman Empire. Wouldn't surprise me if there was more legionnaires on Hadrian's Wall at the time than there was in the whole of Scotland. Just here you see, this is where you would come out if you'd taken the forest drive. 14 miles to keel the water. So, you'd have missed out on all of that Scottish borders experience, the view, the roads. And also missed out on seeing Carter Bar, where an awful lot of people stopped to take a photograph of the stone with England one side and Scotland on the other. Rochester, our next stop. And as you go around the bend, you see it. Camion Cafe. Loads of parking and a fabulous selection of grub and all. So let's go and have a look inside.